Hello, Thailand. Hello. Hello. How are you, Thailand? I'm fine, and you? Okay. I am great. Thank you for asking. Okay, can you see my screen and hear me well? I'm hearing you, but I'm not seeing your screen oh, yet. Oh, let me see. Oh, yes, because I didn't share it. Did. <clears throat> now it is going for you. I'm trying What about now? Yeah, I'm saying. Okay, very good. So it is a unit talking about countries and nationalities, and these words are gonna be very important for us, because every time you learn a language, you're gonna talk with people from other countries, and most of the times you're gonna ask, "Where are you from?" And the person will say the country that she or he is from or their nationality is there this is another word and you gotta pay attention to some differences between the country and the nationality they are a little bit different and sometimes people get confused about this uh, for example let me see For example, here, when you, when you say jer, oh, every time with, uh, I'll put here with capital letter, Germany, okay? Germany. Germany. Mm -hmm. And German. German. So you, you gotta be careful not to make confusing because Germany is the country. And this is the nationality. German. Okay, some some important things. So Germany is the country. German is the nationality. Uh, one important thing for you to take note: always, always write with capital letter. Okay. Okay. Always the name of the country and the name of the nationality you always have to write with capital letter or if you don't do this it is incorrect so it is wrong but be careful with this all, all the time uh, sometimes I will do this for example Canada Canada and you see every everything is on capital letter but you know when you have to write you just write the letter C in capital letter and the other words you just put in a simple way, okay? No problem. Okay. Okay, who's born in Canada? You know the nationality for Canada? Not in English. Canadian. 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 Okay, you're, you're, we're gonna look at a lot of countries here. And, oh my god, let me just silent my mobile phone. Just a second. Because some notifications were coming from my mobile phone here. It was disturbing. Okay, let me ask you something. You go on Google because I don't have this information and I don't know if you have this information. But can you ask Google how many countries exist? How many countries exist? Can you type this I on Google? I think it is 150. Oh, my. Let's Google it for a check. How many countries? I love Google because of these questions. How many yeah. countries? 195, you found this? Yeah, 195. Oh my god. So, one, 195 countries in the mm -hmm. world today. And this information is from 2021, so it is actual, so current information. 
This total comprises 193 countries that are member states of the United Nations and two countries that are non-member observer states, the Holy See and the state of Palestine. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, uh, let's see uh, if you can find a list of all countries. List of all countries. Countries. List of all countries. Albania. Algeria, Andorra, Angola, Antigua, and Barbuda. And in this, uh, in this list, they say the number of the countries. It is 195. Oh, yes, Zimbabwe is the last. And 195 for me. I don't know if you have the same. Countries. Oh, you cannot sort this by. Oh, very good. Okay, you, you found 195 countries in the list? Yes. Very good. So, let me see if we can sort. You, you know the word sort. 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 You know what means this? No. For example, you, you can sort from A to Z, you can sort for um, biggest to smallest, S sort, yeah, we don't have this, but uh, I'm, I'm asking you to do these researches on Google so you can handle and deal with uh, with countries, okay? So uh, the words I said it is handle and deal. They are they are kind of means the same, okay? Means the same. It is the same of lidar manus. They are handle deal, okay? So, for you to deal with countries. Another research for you to do. Uh, search on Google. Most populated countries. Most populated countries. China, India, United States. China, India, United States, Indonesia. Very good. Very good. Brazil. Brazil in, in fifth? No, sixth. Sixth. Okay. Oh, yeah. Pakistan is above us. So, oh, my God. So, China and India. My God. One billion. Billion. United States, 331 million. Brazil, 212 million. 212 million, oh my god. And this information is from 2021, so it is uh, current information. This is okay. Okay, you can just duplicate the tab here and ask another thing to Google. Uh, Largest country. Largest countries. Russia, Canada, and China, United States, and Brazil. United States, very yeah, good. Brazil. So Russia is the largest, but in population, where is Russia? In ninth place. Oh my, 145. So it is a very large land for such a small population. Yeah. And in Russia is kind of in two continents. Yeah. 
Europe and Asia. Okay, can you search for the continent, uh, uh, continents? Five continents, or some people call it six or seven, but continents. Continents. Take a look. Some people call it seven. What are the seven continents in their countries? Is it five or seven continents? What are the seven continents? But let's see about this question here. So, Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, Australia. Oh, they say Australia is a, is a continent. Yeah. And Europe, okay. Okay, but Australia is a continent. Let's see here on my picture. Yeah, we have it here. But you have New Zealand or something like that here too. Very good. So you you can see that you can see that you go on Google and, and you can find any information about countries and if you know the name of the country is is better for example uh, if you want to make a research about some traditional thing of the country for example what is the the favorite food of Russian people we can ask this question and find about the country I don't know Russia uh, food let me see what comes for us nine traditional Russian dishes you must try so beanie Russian pancakes palmeni beef stroganoff uh, sirniki kasha porridge uh, porridge uh, mingao oh. should we say let me see if I find here. When, when you don't you know, when you don't know a word, just duplicate the tab, go to Google Images and put the porridge. Thank you, Vio Mingao aqui, ó. Porridge. Yeah, não é um mingau isso aí não. Como que chama isso? Mingau de aveia, mingau, mingau. Go. Yeah. É, tá meio feio isso. But okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Old breakfast banana. Very good. So a lot of information about countries and we can find whatever we want on Google. So let's continue here. So a lot of countries and nationalities and let's talk about the names of them. I will ask you to read the names of these words, important words, continent, country, nationality. These are important to make difference. Country is one thing, nationality is another thing, continent is another thing. So, can you uh, read a little bit of the continents? Okay. Uh, North America, uh, Canada, and the, the USA or the US. US. South America, Argentina. Argentina, with our Argentina. Argentina. Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Peru, Peru, Europe, Germany, Italy, Poland, Spain, and the UK. Very good. And Australia, Australia, New Zealand, Asia, China, India, Japan, Pakistan, Thailand, and Africa, Egypt. Morocco, South Africa, and Tunisia. Tunisia and Antarctica. Very good. And um, Antarctica. And Antarctica, you don't have a country, just uh, <laughs> just ice and... Ice and, uh, and Yeah, beans. just ice and ice. I, I think you have a population. I don't know if I'm right, but the... Oh, my God. How, what are the... Uh, Eskimos. The Eskimos. I don't know. If we can find something about them, Eskimo. Take a look. The people, I don't know if I'm right, if it is Antarctica, but mm -hmm. Eskimo live mm. in uh, Igloo is the name of the house, but I, I want to know the place. Uh, mm. Oh. The polar bear. 
Oh, so cute. Polar bear. Or oh, their beds. Very cold. Mm -hmm. Freezing cold. The clothes. I think these are made from animal skins. Yeah. My that is god. True. Take a look mm -hmm. at this. Oh my god. And they fish for eating. Very good. So <clears throat> these guys are kinda crazy. Okay, let me take a note on the pronunciation of some of them. Say Brazil. Brazil. Brazil, okay. Spain. Spain. Yes, because we have the word that is for you not to make confusion between the emails that you receive and they are spam. 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 And this is Spain. Spain. So you spam. say the E. Spain. 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 Yeah. And you have the Peru, like R, R, Peru, Peru, mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. Poland, Spain, the UK, the US, no problem. South, North. North and South. Yeah, North. But it's just one America. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think I agree. Yeah, North America and South America is just America. Yeah. Um, America. This is the reason why they make confusion between five and seven continents because they divide the Americas. I think it is this the the reason. Europe, okay. Europe. Australia. Australia. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't call it Australia. I I used to call it Oceania. Call it Oceania. Yeah, Oceania, but um uh, <laughs> Continent Oceania. Oh my Oceania. Oceania. Here. The they call it Australia because Australia is mm, the largest country here. You have New Zealand here. The Philippines too, yeah. Yeah. Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland and North. I can't read this yellow. South Australia. Yeah. Okay. They call it Australia because Australia is the largest, but you have New Zealand and other countries, so you have to be careful with this. I will call it Oceania. I don't know if if calling Australia is common for the people, but let's try to take Oceania for us. Okay, these are the 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 letters of the nationalities for example uh, the person who comes from the usa is american okay and a lot of uh patterns here uh, let me say the word for you uh pattern you know this no better 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 okay so you have a pattern on the end of the word that is say American, Argentinian, and Australian, Brazilian, Canadian, Colombian, Egyptian, German, Indian. So it is a pattern for you to decorate or decorate, memorize this. For you to memorize these words, it is important you know this pattern here. And some other pattern that is the ish, British, English. Finnish, Irish, Polish, Scottish, Spanish. Okay, so I'll let you read this uh, pattern here. Can you read this nationalities here? Uh, American, Argentinian, Australian, Brazilian, Canadian, Colombian, Egyptian, German, Indian, Italian, Moroccan, Peru. Peruvian, South African, and Tunisian. Very good. Uh, another important thing and, and happy thing for us, it is that, uh, for example, American. Oh, my God. American can be used for masculine, feminine, singular, and plural. I have a question. 
Yes. American is the person who borns in America. Right. Yeah. But why does um the people who born in USA call them American just because they born in USA? Because uh, oh, yeah. there is Canadian, Brazilian. We are also American, but yeah, we are American. I, and they say, and they say, for example, when you go to the United States, they say, "Welcome to America." But I am but already in America. America. <laughs> <laughs> I am American. I am a Latin American. I am American. And I, I was already here. I'm not welcome because I am from here. And, yeah. and some people criticize the American people, the United States people, because they think the continent is theirs. But it is not. No. Yeah, most of the people um, criticize them. Uh, let me see if we have a, if we have a discussion on this, for example. Uh, why? Uh, how can I make this question? Uh, why American? Why Americans say they are Americans? <laughs> What? Why Americans say they are Americans? Uh, let me see this. Let's hang out some time. Goodbye. I'll see you like never see you again. No, strange thing, Americans. That's interesting. Bye bye words, American. No, oh, this is a difficult question. Uh, U.S. Say, nationality countries the USA the nationality is American yeah we, we may have a discussion on this but you can you have to find more detailed uh, asking the correct question for example why do Americans say welcome to America if they are not the American but they are just a country and not a continent. You have to make a question to Google so we can find this. It could be a more detailed question. I will find, and if I find, I will, I will send you. Because there is, there is. All the world criticize Americans because of this. They say, you don't have the continent for you. So, you are, uh, uh, for example, in, in, in a Spanish they say estadounidense yeah. estadounidense and not american <laughs> yeah because they are from the united states not from the con the continent but okay okay we have this other pattern here that is the british oh be careful with this oh my god this is so disturbing uh so mute notifications and mute notifications okay okay uh be careful because uh if a person is from england the person is english and british is from britain or great britain as they say uh do you know no sorry it's not the same country, Great Britain and Inglaterra is not the same country. Oh no, take a look. Uh, uh, England, England is a country, okay? Country. Okay. Uh, the Great Britain is a reunion of countries and they are England Scotland Scotland North Northern Ireland uh, England Scotland Northern Ireland uh, Wales Wales don't know if I'm 
forgetting about some of them but let's check it out uh, <coughs> great britain countries uh, uh, here scotland ireland england wales i think it is this scotland ireland wales scotland ireland england wales okay yeah it is this so wales is for example you say a person is british is one of these countries one of these countries but you have to ask for example uh, you're British, okay, where are you from exactly? And they will say, oh, I'm from Ireland. Okay, so you're British. I'm from England, you're British. I'm from Wales, oh, you're British. And Scotland. I think this is the reason why the, the flag is different. Uh, Great Britain and English flag. Take a look, they are different. Uh, this is the english flag and this the, is the united kingdom flag okay. uh, i i think it is a mix between the the english flag and the scottish flag that is the scotland is blue with a white cross scotland yeah it's a mix so you mix this with this and this and you're gonna have the British flag so this is the reason why very good can you say the ish British English Finnish Irish Polish Scottish and Spanish okay um, British English Finnish Irish Polish Scottish and Spanish, Spanish. okay now can, can you can you think of a person and tell me the nationality of this pers person um, Benedict Cumberbatch I don't know if it's like this to pronounce it but uh, he is English okay what is the name of the, the guy here uh, Benedict Benedict Cumber, uh, from Britain or from England, I don't know. Or he is British, depending. No, he English. English. Oh, okay. You can say English or British. British, no problem. Cumber, um, yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, these. Uh, mm -hmm. few countries that you see the is Chinese with with Z Z Chinese Japanese mm -hmm. Portuguese can you repeat Chinese Japanese and Portuguese very good mm -hmm. and there are some exceptions because you have a lot of countries but you have some ex exceptions here so the name of the country is pakistan but the person is pakistani pakistani okay the name of the country is thailand but the person who's from there is uh, thai for example ah you told me some classes before i don't know exactly but we were talking about thai food yes and you said that you like spicy food, for example, and Thai mm. food is the food from the country Thailand. Mm. So, come from Thailand. Yeah. Very good. Uh, French. French. This, is, this is one you have to be careful because France is the country and French is the nationality so french food like the croissant oh 
Like the croissant is a French food, food that comes from France. Very good. Great. Now, can you tell me or unscramble this and try to discover what are the countries they are talking about here? And I'll give you a hint um, about this website here. Very good. Number two is Brazil. I Brazil, think. very good. Number three is Spain. Spain. Number five is Japan. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, I will go and help you with this website here. Word Unscrambler. Can you go to this website, Word Unscrambler? Dot net. Mm. It's gonna show you something like this. Yeah. Unscrambler. Unscrambler é desembaralhar ou desembaralhador. <laughs> so I'll show you the word again so you can type. Let's see. This. Uh, number four is Morocco. Morocco. And what? Uh, found the word no ainda para selecionar aqui Close this hum, eu sei que é Tailândia mas o sitezinho não me ajudou não hein hum. vou escrever errado Dalton Okay. No, 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 no. No. Yeah. How does a word scramble to work? Yeah, in this case, it doesn't help me. But when I said, for example, Italian, I said, oh, Thailand, because of the letter D, Thailand. So, Thailand. 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 Very good. But this website is good when you don't know, you go there. For example, if you type Brazil, is gonna unscramble and give you some other words you can create with these letters. For example, mm -hmm. Libra Braille is a word. Take a look. Abri, Ariel, mm -hmm. Rail. I don't know the the meaning of this word, for example, Abri. I don't I know this. Rail. Rail é o trilho do trem. Rail. Rail. Uh, liar é um mentiroso. Lair, eu já vi essa tradução como sendo um calabouço, uma coisa, é uma coisa muito obscura, não lembro o que, que é exatamente, vamos ver aqui, Lair, Covil, alguma coisa assim, é, calabouço, Lair, significado, oh my god, eu coloquei errado, Air, Lair, minha anima. Killer. A place where a wild animal, especially a fierce or dangerous one, lives. Lugar onde um animal muito selvagem mora, mas é uma onde uma cova, um, 
Lair. Covil. Eu sabia que era alguma coisa muito doida. Eu já vi em algum jogo. Lair. Lair. So you go to the website, you put a word, and it's going to create a lot of words so you can uh, practice. For example, ball, bar, base, bra, lab, lair, lib, ray, ria, rib, ris. And with with three letter, with two letter, with four letter, five letters, braille bra, four letters. And you, for example, you put a big word, comprehend. Comprehend. Let me see. So it's gonna make comprehend is the most important. So you can coromen, chromeny, compared. Oh my God. Crowndry, Crowndry, Chromed, Corn and Colder, or Precold, Repond, Port. All the words you can create using these letters. This is a good website for you to practice pronunciation because if you encode, encore, empen, mender, normed, pursed, and if you if you don't know, you go to Google and type on the speaker and it's And the Google will speak for you. So this could be yeah. helpful sometimes. Very good. Let's continue here. Uh, match these capital cities to the countries and make sentences. The sentence is Tokyo is the capital of... And you find here Japan. Rome okay. is the capital of Egypt. Egypt. Very good. No, Rome is from Italy. Oh, Italy. Oh, yeah, nice. Italy, um... Buenos Aires is the capital of Argentina. Great. Berlin is the capital of Germany. London is the capital of where's the UK? Okay. I don't agree with this. I don't, I don't know if UK has a uh, capital city. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't know. But okay. Madrid is the capital of Spain. Um, is Bogota the capital of Colombia? Yes. Okay. Is capital of Colombia. Warsaw is this? Warsaw. Warsaw. I think is this because the language of they is is a kind of weird. I don't know the pronunciation because of their okay. language. Warsaw is the capital of Poland. Poland. Very good. Warsaw. Canberra is the capital of Australia, Australia. and yeah, everybody thinks that, yeah, the capital of Australia is Sydney, but it is not Sydney, okay. it's Canberra. Yes, and Cairo. 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 Cairo is the capital of Egypt. Oh, Egypt, very good. Egypt, mm -hmm. Warsaw is from Poland. Poland, é porque polonês é um idioma difícil. Não sei se é Warsaw. Acho que falaria Warsaw aqui. Warsaw. Let me see. Which country is different 
think of the languages they speak there and write sentences. In England, Canada and Australia, they speak English. But in Iceland, Iceland é a Islândia. They speak Icelandic. Eu não sabia que eles falavam yeah. outra língua lá. Icelandic. Icelandic. Okay. Uh, one country is not in the least. Iceland doesn't speak English. And what about okay. this? Okay. Chile, Mexico and Spain. And Chile, Mexico and Spain, they speak Spanish. But in Brazil, we speak Portuguese. Very good, Portuguese. In Austria, Germany and Switzerland, they speak German. But in Italy, they speak Italian. Italian, Italy, Italian. Very good. Yeah. And this uh, I know because of Germany. Germany speak German. Austria, yeah, I, I knew a little bit about it. And Switzerland speak German too. But Italy, definitely, they don't speak German. They speak Italian. Yeah. Very good. Number four. Okay. Number four. I know that in China they speak Chinese, but yeah. in Egypt, Moroccan, Saudi Arabia, they speak. The name of the language mm. is uh, almost the last word that you see on the screen. Arabian? They, they say Arabic. 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 Yeah, they speak Arabic. Arabic. Great. Okay. So in Egypt, in Morocco, and Saudi Arabia, they speak Arabic, and in China, they speak in Chinese. Great. They speak Chinese. Oh, okay. Um. In Canada, they speak in English, but in French, too. But I think in France, they speak in French, and in Canada, it's Scotland, and but in Switzerland, they don't speak in German. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the problem is that Switzerland and Canada, they have two languages. But, for example, Scotland is just English. So, in Canada, Scotland and Switzerland, they speak in English. And in France, they speak in French. But in Canada, they do. No, it, they is, no, it is like this. Uh, it is like this. Canada, France, and Switzerland, they speak French. But Scotland, what? only English. Switzerland, they speak in French. Yeah, French and Canada too. Uh, France, uh, of mm -hmm. course, because they are France. But Canada, you have some cities like Quebec and Montreal, and they speak French there. Montreal. But I don't know about Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland. Switzerland, I don't know. I just know that the pictures are very beautiful. Mm. Uh, and maybe someday I want to go there, but not before United States and France because I love France and USA I think it is first for me very good what is the adjective for the country so the nationality the nationality okay uh, Thailand is Thai Germany is German Egypt is Egyptian Argentina is I forgot Argentinian? Yeah, Argentina Argentinian. Argentinian. And Spain is Spanish. Okay. Peru is Peruvian. China is Chinese. Australia. Australia? 
and Poland is the ish. Polish. Ish. Huh? Ish. Polish. Yes, Polish. 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 Very good. Very good. Polish. Right down. Okay, now uh, it is for you to write down, but I will ask you, what is the name of your country? Is Brazil. Brazil, okay. Uh, can you tell me names of countries next to your country? So, neighbors? Uh, Argentina, Peru, I bet. Bolivia, uh, Uruguay, no, I think that Colombia, Venezuela, Guiana Francesa, and yeah. Francesa Guiana, French Guiana. French Guiana, Suriname. Okay, okay. Uh, can you tell me one country in South America that is not a neighbor from Brazil? Chile. Chile, very good. Chile. Chile. Okay. Uh, can you tell me the name of the language of your country? Portuguese. Portuguese. Okay, can you tell me the name that originated our country than our language? Is Brazilian. No, the name of the, the other country that oh. di discovered Brazil. Portugal. Portugal. Yeah, Portugal. I don't like Portugal. <laughs> you don't like Portugal? They're rude. Oh, they are rude. Yeah, kind of strange. Uh, and can you tell me the name of the people that live in your country they are? Brazilian. Brazilian. Very good. This is, Brazilian. This is great. This is very important for you to remember because when you are in a conversation, people will ask you this all the time. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Okay, what do you speak? Portuguese. Oh, who discovered you're in Portugal? I don't speak Spanish. Yeah, or I don't speak Spanish. Spanish. I speak Portuguese. Yeah, I speak Spanish, Spanish because I learn, not because I, I this is my mother language, you know. <laughs> Very good. Let's continue. Oh, this is difficult because you have to Google it. I don't know exactly all the answers. Uh, in which continents are these places? So, continent. Use the internet to help you. Yeah, use the internet to help you. The Sahara mm. is... Not only in Medio, in Medio, Asia. Mm. Yeah, if you um, say Oriente Medio, it's Middle East. Middle East. Middle East. But, no, but it's not a continent. Yeah, yeah. The word I don't know if it is Africa. Mm, I don't know. Africa. Oh. It faz parte da Ásia da África. Yeah. Sahara. Sahara Desert is in which continent? Ah. Oh. Asia and Sahara Africa. Desert. I think it is a little part of the Africa. Okay. Oh, this must be. Medium. This must be amazing because people say it is very hot during the day and mm -hmm. very cold at night. Yeah. It's beautiful. Okay. So the Amazon. The Amazon. The Amazon. America. Yeah. The other, I never knew and never heard about Wagga Wagga. Wagga Wagga? No. What is this? In the ocean. 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 Wagga Wagga. What is Wagga Wagga? The 
this is for Africa. <laughs> but what is Wagga Wagga? I don't know what is Wagga Wagga. Is a city? Is a country? Is a. Oh, okay. Wagga. Very good. Uh, the Volga. The Volga. Hmm, what is this? Volga. Is in Russia. Is a river. Is a river in Russia. So, uh, uh, Europe or Asia? I don't I know. Yeah, because Russia is in the two continents. Yeah. Volga is a river. Another is Danube. Danube is another river. Very good. Ah, I think it is in Europe I found. Here it is. Europe like here. Longest river in Europe. Uh, in Europe. Volga. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh, never seen this. Kilimanjaro. Tanzania in Kilimanjaro. Africa. 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 Because it is in Tanzania. I know, but uh, Mount Kilimanjaro National Park, Tanzania, Africa. Mm -hmm. The Mississippi is in America too. In America, Ma Mount Fuji is in Asia, no? Is in China. Fuji, Mount Fuji. Uh, oh my God! Is a kind of I don't know, volcano oh. mount. It's a mount, but it looks like a volcano yeah. of ice. <laughs> oh, these are yeah. beautiful pictures here. Yeah. Uh, so it is in Asia. Very good. Asia. Uh, Lake Titicaca. I've never seen this. Uh, Lake Titi Kaka. Then America too. America. Okay. So yeah. you're gonna you're gonna have this conversation with a lot of people when they say about places and you they say name of cities and you say where is this city? Because I know for example most of us know the country and the capital. But when the person say a different city is difficult for us because we don't know. Uh, for example, the guy was talking to me and he was from India. And I know that India, okay, no problem. But for example, he said, what is the name of the city? Uh, Kerala. And I don't even know the name of the city. Let me try. Uh, Ke India, Kerala, ah, Kerala, 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 India. So this is the city of the guy who's talking to me, and I am, and he said I am from Kerala, India, and I didn't know what Kerala means. Kerala is a city, and it's a touristic city take a look a lot of people go there to do tourism okay. a lot of gringos here going to Kerala and trying to know the country there very good oh I think okay I think we covered this lesson I just want to give you this exercise here let's see what happens uh, quiz quiz on countries here